Um, what, what happened over the final few minutes uh, as far as you guys offensively? What were they able to do to slow you guys down? Well, what they did majority of the game uh, went after Jason. Um, felt like we weren't as crisp as we had been against blitzes and traps um, in the previous games. So that's what happened at the end. Really came down to both teams were going after their main guys. Um, and they made a, a shot or two more than us. Um, didn't feel like we were great in the pocket, you know, catching the ball. And we've seen it quite a bit this year. Jason makes the right play. And we weren't, you know, we either missed some really good shots or just weren't a little indecisive in the pocket there. And so um, that's really what, the, what it came down to. Uh, Dinwiddie hits one, and our, a few of our guys missed some open ones. They, they've had kind of a similar run to you guys in terms of the way they've played defense. As you said, is that kind of how you saw the game play out where you guys are both kind of limiting each other and it came down to making an action player two at the end? Yeah, I mean, for the most part, especially with the blitzes there, but our third quarter was obviously not good enough. Um, held them to 38 in the first half, and they got 38 in that quarter. Uh, really hit six for nine threes, 10 for 10 free throws, and they only had 19 on the night. So we got driven a little bit. Um, they got the line. We didn't when we were both driving, and that's why I ended up getting a technical about that. It felt like they were bucking their heads back and getting some calls that we didn't get. And so um, that one quarter, other than that, is 18, 20, and 19. So we played good overall. Anytime you, you know, hold a team to 95, you feel good about it. But our offense wasn't as crisp, and then let that quarter get away from us defensively. Police in New York City are looking for the man who stabbed two employees at the Museum of Modern Art yesterday afternoon. Police identified the suspect as 60 year old Gary Cabana. Who they tell you this is new surveillance city in Charles at the moment that the reception. They didn't say anything other than it was not a foul. Like, we are that's, that's all they left it at. And so. Obviously, they look at it and review it from several different angles. So you go with that call and had to flip our mind really quickly to a jump ball at half court and how we can get the ball and get a shot off at the end knowing they were going to foul. Is that kind of what you were looking for in the last shot? It's one of the looks. It's the first look. If he comes off clean, we know they're going to probably switch and jump out. And then we had some counters behind it. But, um, you know, the other part, he was knowing they're going to foul on a catch and shoot. He tried to get a shot off and bait that foul as well. And so. He felt he got hit when they tried to reach in there, so it may have affected his look. But um, first look is catch and shoot, knowing they're going to foul uh, up three. Frustration of the officiating or the tech in the third quarter. I think they went to the free throw line like ten times, yeah. six straight times on three possessions. I mean, how tough is that when you're trying to you're trying to extend the lead, but that let him come back into the game? Yeah, and that's what my complaint was. It's we're both attacking the basket, both driving and. Um, you know, you buck your head back and you give them a foul. And so, you know, we want to play a physical brand of defense. And when you're – when a team only shoots nine the rest of the game other than that third quarter, it's like, okay, are we – I'm asking for consistency. We're guarding the same way the whole time. And so um, that's where I got a little frustrated, obviously. But uh, those ten free throws, let alone – they, I mean, they still hit six for nine threes in that quarter. So they did some other things well. But um, that's where my frustration came from and giving up 38 in that quarter was obviously too much, but we still had our chances and we were up 13 and they kind of dwindled it down in that quarter, uh, but we bounced back in the fourth and our offense kind of stalled. We're going to try to get Al down, uh, Al down here quickly, so um, I'll wrap with you guys as quickly as you want so we're just kind of hustling through. So you got a couple more. Okay. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, apparently, you guys put up a Kevin Garnett quote in the locker room about how he wants to be the best teammate ever. How does that kind of match the message you're trying to impress upon the guys this year? Yeah, it's a, the selfless, self unselfishness that we're talking about. And, you know, you can see it on display tonight. It's both teams were really blitzing their main guys. And as I said all year, uh, Jason is – just as happy to see our guys uh, feed off of him and makes the right play, makes the right pass. And, you know, like I said, we weren't a sharper. We missed some open looks tonight, and that's an example of it. And I think you've seen that with our play offensively and defensively this year. The way we've grown as a team kind of embodies that quote. Thanks. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man.